vocalist and guitarist Mario Oliveris. Thank you so much for being here. We are at a recording studio here in San Diego, California, Track Star Entertainment. And we've been talking about how one becomes a success in this world today. It's, it's very difficult. It's not easy for somebody to achieve some of the things that you've been able to achieve, Mario. I mean, you are one of the finest guitarists in the country. Uh, people listen to you on, on uh, their radios, and people listen to you, your CDs, many CDs you had out now. And the new one is called? The new one is uh, Radio Romanza. Radio Romanza. And it's, uh, it's coming out shortly. And uh, you've just finished recording this particular album. But I think back at all of your, uh, your big, big uh, accomplishments, all the television shows and, and the tours that you've been able to do around the country with all the big names. Um, tell us how one achieves this. Well, I have, I have some uh, key points that I've tried to utilize uh, over the years. Uh, I didn't really know I was doing these things. But it wasn't until recently that I've actually identified them. Uh, you've toured around the country with uh, a famous uh, comedians, Paul Rodriguez, when uh, you, you were uh, the orchestra leader for the Boomer Show television program, seen coast to coast around the country for uh, several years. Um, you did the Muscular Dystrophy Telethons. You have, uh, you've recorded so many albums and you've done so many incredible things. You've played so many places. How were you able to go from those meager beginnings to what you are today? Well, I, I think a lot of it had to do with uh, being able to dream big, just have a dream. And I think uh, any of us can dream. And I, I was fortunate, fortunate enough to um, be in a rural community up in the uh, Sacramento Valley where um, there weren't a lot of us but the teachers there really took an interest in the students, at least through the first eight grades. And um, I got it from the teachers. It was real important for the, te the teachers always participated and motivated us and told us to study, to learn, to read. And my folks echoed that. And so that w I was bombarded with that within the family unit. And I think that was um, what motivated me to start to uh, utilize these principles, to study, to practice, repeat, repetition, knowing that if I did those things, I could accomplish whatever goal I would set out you know, to, to, to meet. You know, so many young people are watching you and so many young people look up to you. What do you tell them? What are the keys to success that these kids need to know in order for them to accomplish even some of the things that you've done? Well, it's first of all, I, the, the first thing that, that, that I think about is uh, to have a positive attitude. Have a positive attitude about everything you do. Have a positive attitude about yourself. Have a positive attitude in spite of all the adversity around us. And that's number one. The second thing is to have a dream. We all have dreams. As kids, you know, that they say most people uh, stop dreaming at by the time you're 18, you, you stop dreaming because there's so much negative around us. And I always tell people, keep dreaming, keep dreaming. Uh, you know, it may take 20, 30, 40 years, but always have that dream. And um, the other thing is uh, set, set a goal, uh, whether it's uh, a career, whether it's music in my case. Um, uh, set that goal and every day just take little baby steps because all these baby steps will lead to bigger steps and before you know it, you're there. You keep getting better and better, and I appreciate you being here today. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Mario. Mario Oliveras. Soy Mario Olivares. Ojo, oído. Entrenamiento académico para aprender y crecer.